and this one particular task was two and a half days of one individual that was manually copying that over, which blew our mind. In 2016, we had a really funny story with this customer that we had just recently signed. We got introduced to this customer by another customer of ours, and essentially they had already implemented Salesforce within their organization, and they were just looking to get a little bit more. This wasn't going to be a big deal, and we were just literally going there for, I think it was something like 20 hours worth of work, which wasn't that much really. And we got a chance to go on site with them and get the blueprinting done on site at the time. And it was really interesting to get to document all of these items that they were looking to do. But it really wasn't until after we had done the blueprinting session that they offered us to do a quick tour around their offices and introduce us to some of the employees and the team because they were a very small company. However, they managed to do about three to four million dollars per employee in revenue, which kind of meant that this is a company that does a lot of volume for an employee. So it really comes to bear that the systems and the processes that you have to have in place need to be crucially efficient. And here we were being introduced to this small team. This probably didn't take more than 10 or 15 minutes until we got to, Lily was one of the last employees and as she was introduced to us, I couldn't help but notice that on her desk, there were two monitor screens. These monitor screens, one of them was turned off and I kid you not, it was basically covered top to bottom in stickers and post-it notes and essentially it was just like a pegget board for notes. I couldn't help but ask the question and the explanation that I got was basically that the monitor didn't work and she just decided to keep it as her little post-it reminder. And it blew my mind away because either you replace it or just remove it if you're not using it. And somehow she found this use for it. And the, the irony of it was that it was going to be indicative of the type of work we were gonna encounter with this customer. And as we sat down for further blueprinting in the days to come, we started going over their business processes and this one example in particular was really crucial that we, at the end, we realized that at the end of the month, they send what was called a usage report to every single customer, which was basically a summary of their performance statistics with respect to each individual customer so the customer could have it and, and read over and, and make sure everything was okay. As we were going through identifying that process, we were asking them and essentially, they basically told us that this was a manual process. Now, what did that mean? That meant that there was a Google spreadsheet that got updated every month with all of these performance statistics and every customer was an individual row and essentially what they had to do was take information cell by cell and it was about seven columns worth of information uh, seven different statistics and metrics that they had to take seven of these and paste it on a PDF template and they would do this manually row by row customer by customer and that was mind-blowing we ended up asking them you know how long did this did this take and they basically came to us and told us that they had to dedicate an entire week to close out the month. And this one particular task was two and a half days of one individual that was manually copying that over, which blew our mind. Uh, not because we also know we, what we could do with Salesforce, but simply because it's this company that has to run in a very high efficiency level because of how many employees they have and how many customers they service, were so stuck in some archaic ways of doing things almost innocently because they just fell on the routine of doing things and to some extent it worked and it got the job done. And no one ever bothered to question themselves or challenge themselves to see if you could even do better. And of course, well, anybody that works in Salesforce long enough knows that you can easily set up a document generator uh, that 
could, uh, many of them have a batch functionality. So we knew that if we could just get that information into Salesforce, into some type of custom object, that we could automatically generate all of these, theoretically eliminating these 18 hours down to probably 30 minutes worth of hassle of importing this spreadsheet into Salesforce. So it wasn't even part of the scope and we talked to them about getting that done and they were a little reluctant at first because it was, you know, basically double the scope because it was so small to begin with, but they, they accepted it and we went ahead, it took us about two weeks to get the templates right, get all of these things, get testing, uh, get them to test, make sure everything looked good. And fortunately, their spreadsheet was super well organized from a unique identifier and mapping everything perspective. So we were able to get that up and running in about two to three weeks, I want to say. And it was impressive because once we went live with that, there was clear efficiency there that we were saving them those 18, 19 hours a month, however many we had calculated at the time. This was back in 2016, so if you figure that we saved them those 20 hours every month since, we would be close to 700 hours today, which kind of brings back to the whole point that companies are not often enough challenging themselves to see how they can improve their own process, and it's really crucial that one does so, that way they can continue to fight and stay ahead of the competition and remain relevant because otherwise someone else will. So this story was really exciting. It was a really interesting customer to work with. Uh, unfortunately, in the story, I believe the monitor to this day is still there as a post-it board. And <laughs> no matter how much Salesforce we threw at them, I don't think we'll be able to resolve that one anytime soon. This was a crazy story about how companies can get stuck in a habit without knowing, wasting a lot of time and busy work. In these cases, a document generator can often save you hundreds of hours by automatically generating documents where you manually don't have to. One of these companies is PDF Butler by Cloud Crossing, a doctrine package in the App Exchange that prides themselves on the ease of use to quickly get you up and running. Templates can be easily set up using the very popular Microsoft Word, and just like in the story, they offer a bulk Butler add-on to mass generate thousands of records in one shot. I had a chance to play around their academy and setup was super easy to follow whether you learn better through written instructions or YouTube instructional videos. Check out their link below to learn more and remember, if you're in the Southeast United States and you'd like to share a particular lesson or an exciting story on our channel, send us a message on, via a comment below or directly through messages and we'll be in touch. And don't forget to like and subscribe so that way we can keep more footage coming and you get notified as soon as the next video drops.